What's going on guys, Victor here. I wanna make a very quick and thorough jigging video for you guys to explain the basics of slow pitch jigging because I think it is a topic that is usually over complicated. So starting with the rod, reel, and line setup. When you're slow pitch jigging, it's all about maintaining a vertical line angle. So we like to fish anywhere as low as 15 pound test all the way up to 40 pound. If you're fishing in areas with a lot of current, you gotta have light line to be able to maintain a vertical line angle. If you don't have a lot of current, you can bump up to 30, 40 pound. You're fishing shallower water. You wanna fish the heaviest line possible you can to maintain a vertical line angle. The same thing goes for the jig. Right now, I have on a little 150 gram jig because we're in only 70 feet of water. But the deeper I go and the more current that I fish, I will bump up my jig size up to 500 grams, sometimes even up to 1,000 grams when we're, when we're jigging really deep for golden tiles, for queen snapper in 1,000 feet of water. You don't have to overcomplicate it. If you see that your vertical line angle is not there, bump up your jig size or bump down your line size. There are tons of rods and reels to choose from. I like the Jigging Master series because it's got a level line, which is really nice. When um, fishing deep, I don't have to constantly worry about it. There's a lot of good brands out there. You got the Daiwas, you got the Shimano's, a lot of different brands. Your rod should always be dictated by the size of the jig you're fishing. So unfortunately, there's no one size fits all rod for jigging. You're gonna have rods in different ranges. You're gonna have rods from 100 to 300 grams, rods from 400 to 700 grams, and up. So your rod should always be dictated by the size jig you're fishing. Now, so we broke down the tackle. You always want to set up on the side of the boat where you're going to be drifting away from. So we got an east wind today. I'm setting up right here. I'm going to drop my jig straight to the bottom. And you see that slow pitch jigs come in a bunch of different sizes, shapes, and colors. I don't like to get too focused on the color. I like more of to focus on the shape. Sometimes fish want it really fast. So I'll go for a more narrow slender jig that I can work fast. If I want something to work slow, I'll pick a shorter, fatter jig that's gonna flutter more on the way down. And another thing people overcomplicate is the actual jigging. At the end of the day, all you're doing as a fisherman is moving a piece of lead through the water column, mimicking a injured bait fish. So I'm just lifting the rod up and down. You can change your cadence. You can change the depth you're jigging. But like I said, it's all about the vertical line angle. As you can see, my jig's a little light for what we're doing right now, so I'm gonna bump up. So I just wanted to make a quick, simple video to kinda illustrate the fact that it's not a complicated fishing technique. Pick the jig that's gonna work for the conditions that you're in. Pick your favorite size, color, shape. People get too focused on the color and the different shapes and sizes. Just pick one that works for you. Go out there and have fun with it. Catch some fish. Thank you guys for watching.